Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Brian Yanselson, and I'm here with Emily Ellis. Ellis produced a season-high eight blocks at the net as the number two Tiger volleyball team defeated Southwestern to finish the regular season, earning Ellis the title of SCAC Defensive Player of the Week. Emily, you have dealt with an injury that you suffered at the beginning of this season, caused you to miss a significant amount of time, but now you're back and playing better than ever. How have you been able to get through that injury and get to where you are now? Yeah, um, I think it's been really hard for me, you know, the whole season, sitting the bench. But I think I, not to like pride myself on this, but I think I've done a really good job of kind of like staying positive and giving feedback to people in my position. And, you know, um, injuries can be really hard, especially when you're a senior. Um, but I think coming back these past few weeks, it's been a slow burn kind of. Um, playing a set, playing a few sets, and then I finally got to play a few full games these past few weekends, which is really exciting. Um, and I think I feed off of the energy of my teammates, really. Um, and they know it's been really hard for me, and I'm not really at my full potential yet. But even that, um, even at half, I think I'm doing great. So um, I'm excited, and I'm happy to be back out there with my teammates. So this weekend against Southwestern, you not only played really well, but you provided a real spark off the bench. What has been the difference coming off the bench and starting what you were doing earlier in the year? Yeah. Um, first of all, I want to say our bench is amazing. Um, from being here for four years, I can say that my senior year, the bench goes harder than any bench I've ever seen. Um, so I think that being on the bench for the past four weeks has like, or I guess five or six weeks now, I don't, I don't know. Um, but... The bench is just so energizing and so fun, and I think that that's part of why it's been so easy. Um, but coming off the bench and being on the court is even more fun. Um, I love playing. Obviously, that's why I went to college and I'm playing volleyball, but um, I love it. So I think coming off the bench and it being so energizing and then going onto the court and knowing that I have the bench back there supporting me and they're so energetic is also a big part. So. You mentioned this is your senior season, and before you produced a season-high eight blocks, you and your fellow seven seniors were honored. What was going through your mind as you received that framed jersey and photo? Oh, boy. Um, well, actually, before that match, um, we ran around in the locker room, and all of our teammates kind of said a little um, thing that they were going to miss about us, and so that was really hard. Um, we were all a little crying in there, and Coach walked in, and she was like, get it together. Like, we got to go out there. Um, and she was like, no more crying, like no more crying. When we give out the frames, like you've got it out of your system, like we have to play a match. And so I think when we received those frames, we were kind of like, okay, like we need to stay in the game mindset. Um, you know, even though we're going to be leaving in a few weeks, like that's not in our mind. Um, it's game by game. And, you know, that's the kind of mindset we had going into that game. So. And thankfully, that wasn't your last home match as this weekend, Trinity's hosting the SCAC conference tournament. So what would it mean to you to win the conference championship right here in your home gym? Oh, yeah. Um, I've actually been telling my teammates all week, like, this is our, this might be our last week here, uh, my last week ever. This could be my last game in this gym. So um, I think that winning the SCAC championship to be my last game at Trinity would be amazing. The feeling, I think I might cry, <laughs> but I probably will cry if we do. But um, it's just really exciting to be back here at home. Um, we've never got the chance to do that before in my past four years here. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. So one of the perks that you guys get from playing at home is I know you have a playlist that is specifically chosen for home matches. Yeah. What song gets you the most hyped ahead of a match? Oh, boy. Um, OK, there's a there's a new one, actually. I don't know if you've seen Squid Game, um, but it's like the the song when they're walking in and then it's a remix by Zed. So um, you should listen to it. It's really good. We'll probably play it this weekend at our game. So. So I don't know if it'll be this weekend, but we did leave Halloween in October behind. It's now the first week of November. Does that mean you are officially rocking All I Want for Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey or not yet? Oh, yeah. I'm fully in the Christmas spirit. And I have a few friends from like the coast, like the West Coast and East Coast. They're like, what are you doing? Like, it's been cold over there for months. And I'm like, I don't know. It's cold now. So I'm just going to start listening to Christmas music. And yeah, fully in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> so before Christmas, I guess there is that whole Thanksgiving thing. Yeah. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh, Thanksgiving food. I have to say mac and cheese. I don't know if that counts, but my family makes really good mac and cheese. So, And are you choosing apple, pumpkin, or pecan pie? Ooh, probably apple pie. Yeah. Solid choice right there. Yeah. <laughs> and I've also heard that one of your biggest fans is your dog, Finn. Oh, yeah. Has Finn been approving of your performances this season? Oh, yeah. I hope so. 
<laughs> well, I hope you keep making Finn and all the other Tiger fans happy with your performance. Congrats on your SCAC Defensive Player of the Week award, and good luck to you and the Tigers this weekend. Thank you.